Good morning, happy Thursday. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see me in this blinding sun. And I don't know if you can see that it's like a drowned rat and my hair is still soaked. Why is that? Because we were just part of a drive-by. What does that mean? It was like school bell ringing, roll up to the school, open the door, kick the kiddo out. No, we didn't really kick him out, but we were late this morning. Oh my God. No, we were on time. No, the we second. No, this, uh, on time is not on time. Early is on time, people, right? So, yeah, we literally had to like get up, get out the door. And the only scariest part is we were up at like, we were all up at, you were up at 5.30 this morning. I was up around six and Oliver was up around seven. And this morning we just did not get our butt out the door on time because we were trying to do too much in the morning. So maybe you're in a similar situation where you're adapting to a new routine all of our going to school has been a learning curve for us, a change in hours. We used to drop him off at daycare at like 9.30 sometimes, and then we would pick him up around 5.30 or so. Now we gotta be out the door by 8.45, 8.30ish, depending on if we wanna let him play in the schoolyard, and he's home at 3.20. We're like, what? So, generous learning curve in our schedule, and maybe you're in the same kind of transition this week or the last two weeks or something upcoming. You've, you've started a new job, you got kiddos back to school, there's been a change in your hours, a change in your schedule. And the purpose of this video is I want to say, laugh about it, be kind to yourself. It happens. I mean, most days we got our stuff together, but this morning was just a complete shit show and that happens. And if that happens to you, be kind to yourself. Stop being so dang hard on yourself. It's a learning curve whenever something new comes into your life. So don't think that you have to master it right away. Now, I don't want you running around like a disorganized chaos mess. I'm not saying that's okay too. You gotta manage your time. You gotta ask for some help. You gotta focus on the things that are needle moving and the priorities and what's important. But if you have a rough go of it a day or two, sit back and reflect. You know, for me, I think I just tried to do too much this morning. I was trying to work on my business. I was trying to get caught up on work emails. I got my workout in. I made breakfast for the family. Like, I think I just was doing too much this morning. Hey, Erica, which resulted in, maybe Erica, you've done this. Have you ever done the drive-by with your kiddo where you pulled up and you were like right on time and you basically like kicked him out of the car and off you went. That was kind of what happened this morning. That's what I'm explaining right now with you tuning in. So be kind to yourself. That's the message that I want to give you is that some days don't go as planned. Some days are hairier than others. And even though we were involved in drive-by this morning, nobody was harmed in the making. Kiddo got to school on time. He was chatting it up with his little girlfriends. Now we're running a quick errand before we start the work day. And at some point I suppose I have to dry my hair because I literally jumped out of the shower and ran out of like a drowned rat. So who cares though? Life will go on. I had to choose between makeup or hair and I went makeup. Hair I'll deal with later. So Eric, how do you feel about being involved in a drive-by this morning? Loved it. You loved it. Eric likes to fly on the go. He's totally fine. I'm the, you know, screaming maniac this morning. We gotta leave the house. We gotta be out in 30 seconds. We gotta be out in a minute. Put your shoes on. Mommy became the screaming maniac mom this morning. First world problems. It's totally first world problems. So that's what we're trying to say. It's, it's a first world problem. Be kind to yourself if you're adapting to a new routine or change. You don't have to have it all figured out in the first day. And you know, we gave Oliver a hug and kiss. He was happy, we're happy. The world goes on, life goes by, all is well, and that's that. So that's the message I wanted to give to you today. Be kind to yourself if you're in that moment of transition. Um, you know, don't worry if you have to do a drive by and kick the kiddos out the door. They'll survive. It's all good. All right. Hey, Priya. So have, oh, I feel like I should stay on and chat now because now everybody's coming on to check out this video and I was just about to finish. So y'all got to go back. I got shit to do as I'm sure you do as well. So go back and listen. It's a quick one, but a good one. And I promise nobody was harmed in our drive by today. So, okay. Bye.